Sharon Tate. Sharon Tate was born on January 24, 1943, in Dallas, Texas. She was the eldest of three daughters born to Colonel Paul James Tate and his wife, Doris Gwendolyn. The Tate family had English, Swiss, and French heritage. At six months of age, Sharon won the Miss Tiny Tot of Dallas pageant. Her parents had no show business ambitions for her, despite her early pageant success. Sharon Tate's father, Paul Tate, was a United States Army officer, leading to frequent relocations during her childhood. By the age of 16, Sharon had lived in six different cities, which made it challenging for her to maintain friendships. She was described as shy and lacking self-confidence by her family. Despite her shyness, Tate's friends noted that people often misinterpreted her as aloof until they got to know her better. Sharon Tate attended several different schools during her childhood due to her family's frequent relocations. She won the title of Miss Richland in Washington in 1959. Tate aspired to study psychiatry and compete in the Miss Washington pageant in 1960, but her family's move to Italy changed her plans. While in Italy, she became a local celebrity after a photograph of her in a swimsuit was published on the cover of the military newspaper Stars and Stripes. Tate felt a kinship with other students at the American school she attended in Vicenza, Italy, which marked the first time she formed lasting friendships. She and her friends became interested in the filming of Hemingway's Adventures of a Young Man, in which they obtained roles as film extras. Tate dated actor Richard Beamer during the production of the film. Sharon Tate also worked for singer Pat Boone and appeared in an episode of the television series The Pat Boone Chevy Showroom. In 1961, she appeared as an extra in the film Barabbas with Anthony Quinn. Jack Palance, an actor in Barabbas, was impressed by her appearance and arranged a screen test for her in Rome. The screen test did not lead to further work, so Tate returned to the United States after a few months. Concerned for her safety, her mother suffered a nervous breakdown, and Tate returned to Italy. The Tate family returned to the United States in 1962, and Sharon moved to Los Angeles, where she pursued an acting career. She was represented by Harold Gefsky, an agent introduced to her by Richard Beamer. Martin Ranselhoff, director of Filmways, Inc., signed her to a seven-year contract in 1963. Tate was considered for the role of Billy Joe Bradley on CBS's sitcom Petticoat Junction. Ranselhoff gave her small parts in shows like Mr. Ed and The Beverly Hillbillies to help her gain experience. Sharon Tate met French actor Philippe Fourquet in 1963, and they became engaged. However, her relationship with 4K was volatile and short-lived, ending in 1964. She then met Jay Sebring, a former sailor turned leading Hollywood hairstylist, in 1964. When Jay Sebring proposed marriage, Tate declined, explaining that she planned to retire from acting when she married. In 1964, Tate auditioned for the role of Liesel in the film adaptation of The Sound of Music, but was not selected for the part. Tate appeared in the Americanization of Emily and The Sandpiper, both produced by Martin Ransohoff. In 1965, she got her first major role in the film Eye of the Devil, starring alongside David Niven and Deborah Kerr. Tate played the role of Malibu. Queen of the Surf and Don't Make Waves alongside Tony Curtis in 1967. The film aimed to capitalize on the popularity of beach movies and featured Tate wearing little more than a bikini. Sharon Tate's connection with Roman Polanski began during the filming of The Fearless Vampire Killers. Roman Polanski originally wanted Jill St. John for the female lead but cast Tate after insistence from producer Martin Ransohoff. Tate and Polanski began a relationship during the filming of The Fearless Vampire Killers. After the film, Tate moved into Polanski's London apartment.
Roman Polanski directed Rosemary's Baby, but Sharon Tate was not cast in the film, with Mia Farrow securing the lead role. Sharon Tate's career faced mixed reviews and challenges, with some praising her beauty and vulnerability, while others criticized her acting abilities.